Hey, welcome back to Walden's World and uh, heading over to grab one of my bikes. I sold the gentleman a couple of them and one of them isn't performing up to par. Um, I do put all these together and I make sure they run. However, I don't put my big self on them and test them out, per se. So I think this one actually is stuck in low mode. But service after the sale is, is what I definitely offer. Um, you know, you can buy these bikes yourself if you wanted to and save some money and wait a few months. Uh, but if it breaks down, you're stuck. So that's where I come in. Um, if you're local, I want to take care of you. I've got parts here. Uh, even if you ain't local, you're still only a few days away in the United States. So um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go pick this bike up. And obviously, we're going to diagnose it. Now, I did get one in that was actually stuck on high. And the switch, one of the prongs in the switch was just bent, bent it back. It worked 100%. That was all that was wrong with it. Um, just a little bit. Personally, I thought the prong was too long myself is what was the cause of it. But let's go grab it and see what's up. All right, we're here. We better tell somebody we're grabbing. Hey, we come to grab that bike. Did, you got the key to it? Yeah. Huh? You get you didn't nobody got no. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm about to say. <laughs> All right, so this one I know is a good model. We've been riding it. Even though the chain rubbed a little bit. You can hear the takeoff on that one. Let's do it in low mode and then we'll do the red fish one. Um it may be the some, now I'm using the same battery, so I know it ain't that. You know what I'm saying? So it's either gonna be the motor or the control unit. And so, I mean, that just sounds like instant power. Don't sound like there's any hesitation. Now let's listen to this red one. All right, so here's the difference. That one just don't, it don't seem like it's getting the power right away at all. Let's pop her down. This is high mode. That should be pretty instantaneous, so it may be a bad controller. We're going to go ahead and pop this cover off and find out. I've got a brand new controller here, and uh, if need be, we'll put a motor in too. Got a brand new motor here, or we can pull one out of a bike that's been ran like an hour or something like that, um, that I know for a fact works. So let's get it fixed. All right, so on these, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and these are behind the sticker. So you can just press with your thumb till you fill them and that way when you pop them in, pop them in with screwdriver so they're clean so it don't look so bad when you go back. And nice thing about this one, unlike the Stasic. Okay, so I pulled off the this side, left side panel, just a lot easier. It's got a lot of rubber glue on it, which is probably good to seal it, so we'll make sure. Uh, we've got to be careful for our deal here. Um, 15 amp, 24 volt. We'll pull this out. I've got a replacement and check that out. Verify it's the same one. Uh, 200 watt gear ratio is 9.7 to one for anybody that wants to know about that. 24 volt maximum RPM is 4,900 RPMs. She's a ripper. Look at my motor. Notice it's all sealed. You're not gonna have to worry about dirt and all that stuff, so. Sealed, gearbox sealed. It's just a good little motor. These are the same ones that came on like the Razor type stuff. Uh, just just tr tried and true, true technology. All right, so I got a brand new control unit. Let's get it all hooked up. And it says it passed inspection. Of course that one did too. Something didn't pass. I mean, technically it ran, maybe they didn't. You know, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. They may have went out for a smoke break or something that day. But, uh, all right, let's get all these unhooked and hooked and unhooked. All right, we've got our power leads shrink wrap, so I'm about to cut them. That one I pulled out, but I don't want to tear, up, tear it up. So we'll get it, get it cut right there like that. Camera go off. Okay, so don't ask me why the yellow and black goes to the pink and black and the red and black goes to the yellow and black but that's what it's looked like that's going on here.
All right, so on these batteries, it's just got power going out because um, it's got the BMS system in there, so whatever. Uh, I'm just going to try and hook this up and see if we see any difference in the bike. Otherwise, we'll pull the motor out. It may have a bad motor. All right, power switch is off. Probably going to spark a little bit, as it did. Turn the power switch on. Everything as good. Um, got no idea what mode this is in. Let's find our mode button without turning anything up. Should be in high mode. And I think we'll be good. So we must have had a bad... Uh, Bad BMS in there, or not BMS controller. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Let's put this back together and uh, we're gonna mark this one bad. We'll send this back, I uh, won't send it back, it'll go in the trash, but my company will replace this and this has been fixed for free. Uh, we'll have this fixed in, what, hour for the guy. Good deal, turn it off. We're gonna get, I got shrink wrap, so I'll fix this back up how it was factory and make sure everything's good. I really like this system. Everything's really good and sealed. Um, would have been nice if maybe they'd sealed that, but you know, this is a good unit. That that motor, can't beat it. The hub motors I got, can't beat them. Anyway, y'all holler at me if you're interested in these. I'm not just selling them, I'm servicing them too. And service after the sale. All right, so we got some new shrink wrap leads on there. Let's get all this stuff back up in the frame and get it put back together and, and uh, get it delivered, shall we? Okay, so apparently these were uh, originally mounted on with double-sided sticky tape. And note to self, get some double-sided sticky tape in case you have to do this again. Today, I'm gonna use some electrical tape and I remember my daughter having rubber glue and then that told me I can use some rubber glue that'll help with the uh, any kind of vibration as well, so. Um, it's just kind of on there now. I'm going to go back and put some uh, rubber glue underneath it and attach it to the frame. She'll be good. Now, the customer on this did uh, ask me. I told him to check a couple of things, you know. Um, I told him to check to see if the chain was too tight and if the brakes were on. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and I noticed that's loose there. So, we'll go back up and, and tighten up a few things. His chain's really loose, too. Which if that was pulling hard on the motor, that would create resistance. And on a Stasix motor, it'd, it'd be the end of it. Goliath here, she can handle it. Uh, but anyway, um, even at that, if you pulled a bunch of weight on one side of the bearing, it'd even slow this motor down. Slow any motor down, that's just reality. So let's go, we'll go ahead and, you know, try and sh uh, tighten that back up, get that chain a little bit tighter. The only thing I don't like about these bikes is right there, that chain rubs on that piece of plastic. They cut that side off, but if you were to cut that side off, this this would be like perfect. But you, you will hear that rub. You can pull that one side cover off, just grind about two inches off on the bottom there, and, and this thing, it's quiet after that. Definitely a professional hot glue job right there. Um, it's got the hot glue strings and everything perfectly, so. Let's get her back together and test her out. Take her for a, off a couple of sweet jumps, shall we? All right, we got her back together. Here's low mode. Instant. And let's pop her into high mode. Instant. I tightened up the chain a little bit. Might be a little close to the tight side, but she's gonna stretch out. Tighten the brakes back up, rear axles. Let's go get it delivered.